If you want incredible tips for your speaking test, this video is definitely for you. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you amazing tips for speaking test part 3 of your English SPM 1119 paper 3. This will be the last part of the test yet the most challenging one. Your part 3 of the speaking test will be a discussion task. It will take about 4 to 5 minutes. You are given 1 minute to prepare. In this part of the exam, the candidates, you and your partner will discuss on the topic together. Then, both will come to a decision to choose which is the best choice. And finally, you will each answer a broader questions on the same topic. As soon as you refer to the questions, the booklet divide the points or ideas to discuss. Then, interact with each other. Express your opinions, whether you agree or disagree with the points given by your friend, and reach to an agreement if possible. The assessor will award you marks for three criteria, grammar, vocabulary, and communicative competence. This is your seating arrangement when the test is carried out. Now, let's refer to the sample questions here. The test will have two parts. On the first part, talk about the following topic with your partner for three minutes. On the second part, you will have one minute to make a decision together. Why people go on the internet? Mainly due to the reasons of gaining information, entertainment, online shopping, to connect with friends, writing blogs, or advertising. Divide the points that you wish to speak accordingly. Let's refer to the sample answer spoken by my candidates here. This is how you can elaborate on the points given. Shall I start first? Yeah, sure. I feel people go on the internet because they can browse for a lot of information. As students, we can get online materials for our school projects. What do you think? I completely agree with you. From my point of view, most people go on the internet for entertainment. It is obvious that most users love to download music and movies. There are also lots of online games. Don't you agree with me? You are right, but it seems to me people go on the internet for online shopping because it is a great way to save money and time. At the same time, we can avoid the crowd. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, in my opinion, the youngsters love to go on the internet to connect with friends. They can share stories on Instagram. I totally agree with you. To add to your idea, I would say students use the internet to write blogs. This way, they can improve their writing skills. Don't you think so? You are right. It also seems to me, some people go on the internet for business purposes. They use internet as platforms to promote their products. Do you have anything to add? To sum up, I think most people go on the internet to get connected with each other. Well, I couldn't agree more. People go on the internet because they can get connected with people all around the world. Well, I think you are definitely right. I personally feel that communication is no longer an obstacle with the existence of the internet. I'm glad both of us agree with the same idea. Now, let's refer to the next sample question. What are ways to save money? Could be you can shop for pre-loved items, to have a budget, buy items on sale, open a saving account, enjoy free or cheap entertainment, 
or have home cooked meals? Let's listen to what these candidates say about the topic. This is how you can elaborate on the points given. Shall I start first? Yeah, sure. In my opinion, one way to save money is to shop for pre-loved items. I say this because we can get high quality products at a lower price. What do you think? I completely agree with you. From my point of view, we could also go for free entertainment. For example, choose to visit places with free admission. Don't you agree with me? You are right. I also feel we can shop for products on sale. I say this because we are able to get additional items. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, I personally feel that we should open a savings account to save our money. This way, we can plan our expenses. You are right. We can also have home-cooked meals instead of eating at expensive restaurants. Don't you think so? I agree with you. To sum up, I personally feel the best way to save money is to plan your budget wisely. Well, I couldn't agree more. By having a budget list, we can avoid buying unnecessary items. You are definitely right. I'm glad both of us agree with the same idea. Based on the discussion, we can see that the candidates are using some structures to help them in interacting with one another. This is some of the structures that you could use to assist you in your delivery. Well, students, based on the sample given, I hope you'll get a clearer picture on how to deal with the speaking test part 3. I wish you all the best for your exams and for more and more interesting lessons, do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again at English Made Possible with me, Teacher M.